In this video, my darling, I'm going to help you not just to be a much more resilient when it comes to online trolls and naysayers and online criticism so you can be visible, you can show up in the marketplace and create amazing value and therefore attract the most incredible clients. I'm going to help you to turn that online trolling and criticism into more amazing clients, into money, into profit. Okay. My name is Lenka Lutonska. I am a living class millionaire mentor for incredible change makers and spiritual entrepreneurs like you. And it's my really great pleasure to have you here. So if you're new here, say hello. If you're not new here, say hello as well. Now let's get to it. But first, actually, I would like to share with you a funny story and what actually inspired this video. Last week, I ran one free masterclass where I shared with my audience new business model and creative process be behind shifting the business model so it can accommodate me going from seven figures a year impact to eight figures a year impact on the world. And generally speaking, there was so much love and gratitude for this masterclass. Lots of has, lots of awareness, lots of clarity, et cetera, et cetera. However, during that masterclass, there was this one single comment that says, said something like, I thought we were going to learn something new or all we're doing is listening to your sales speech. And I noticed this comment as I was teaching and didn't make nothing of it, ignored it, didn't react it because there was no need to. But then I remembered that, you know what, some time ago, some years back, if I saw this during, let's say, my webinar, it would totally, totally discourage me for some time. It would make me feel really, really bad. And that's an issue for many, many women, right? Now, anyway, because of what I remembered, I turned that experience and, and that comment into a valuable newsletter for my audience. And again, I got lots of thank yous for the newsletter saying, you mean, oh, you just sent me into really tyrannizing myself because I was scared to do this and that, et cetera, et cetera. And there is this one amazing woman that replied, well, can I just thank this troll of yours because it made you write this newsletter and this exact newsletter is what made me sign up for your program today. So she stepped into my year long, long, amazing program. And yes, in a nutshell, this trolling comment turned into one more incredible client and into additional 10,000 US dollars in sales revenues. Not bad. It's just a little uh, example how truly it's possible to turn those negativity negativity and online trolling, if you like, into more clients and profits. But of course, I wouldn't be able to do that some time ago. And maybe you're watching this video because you're not able to do that too, not yet. And perhaps even you're in that place where you're scared of online criticism. You're scared of people judging you. You're scared that these random comments will pop up on your uh, videos or on your Facebook advertising, et cetera, et cetera. The truth of a fact is that if you're in a business of facilitating change, you will have this type of experiences. But what you do with them truly, truly matters, aka turns into matter into your manifested lived experience. So let me share with you how I dealt with this online criticism in a Initial years, if you like my old method of overcoming the fears and online criticism and how I shifted it later on so that it turned into real power and real growth, real alchemy, real clients, real profit, so to speak. So in initial years, I would keep, keep telling myself that even though I'm scared of this trolls and criticism. And I was, like many of us are. It's not comfortable experience when somebody will tell you, you're this, you're that, you're this. It's not comfortable. But what I was telling myself that, you know what, I'm going to show up anyway because I love my vision, I love my clients, and this online criticism, it's worth it. 
it's worth it's i i'm happy to almost like sacrifice this because i love my vision and my clients too much and it was true so i forced myself to anyway be visible and i thought that over time i would develop a thicker skin which happened to be true to the, to certain extent but i tell you what i got in my time so some fair share of online criticism and some of it oh boy it hurt and when it happened when people called me all possible names and made dicks into my integrity etc cetera, etc cetera, sometimes i cried sometimes i genuinely cried it hurt so much so what i would do then is to just remind myself why i'm doing this so i had this folder in a dropbox where i gathered all possible testimonials and thank you notes from my clients and results from my clients and i would then go and read those testimonials and thank yous and remind myself that you know what this hurt it's worth it because this is why i do what i do and it helped to a certain extent because in a nutshell i never ever let the my fears of judgment, fears of criticism, or the actual criticism and judgment to stop me. And that's very important. Over time, however, this, my way, how I dealt with this comments and trolls shifted to the point where nowadays I'm experiencing far, far, far less negativity than ever before. And here is the major shift that I want to offer you today. I stopped perceiving those online trolls and critics as someone separate from me. I started to consider them as reflections of my own consciousness. And it made a huge difference because that's when I, when I became really empowered to truly turn that shape into gold and alchemize that into some gifts and growth. You see, it's very, very natural that as human beings, we just consider ourselves to be separate from our clients, separate from online audience, from those trolls. I'm over here and those critics are somewhere over there. But really, when we take ourselves deeper into our, the power of our energy and consciousness, we realize that there is no real separation between us and others, that it's all a mere, albeit very useful, illusion. There is literally no separation between you and me, between you and that critic of yours. We are each other's mirrors to each, to each other's consciousness. We each are literally center of our universe and all the people, all the experiences, we are experiencing ourselves through them. In other words, there is not one random crit criticism that someone is giving you. It's you created that criticism through them. Why? To give you a mirror of what's happening inside of you. So you can start taking that fear of criticism and actual criticism it's literally a feedback of what is happening inside of you so you can get, start getting stronger from within. So here is what I started to do with my online critics. Uh, so for instance, I remember one time I had a big piece of publicity in my native country, Slovakia. And while there were, there were some and many nice comments about the article, and it was an article about my work and an article about my amazing business growth, et cetera, et cetera. There were hundreds upon hundreds of negative comments. And some of these comments, as I was reading through them, they didn't touch me. As in, people were telling me how I must be basically whoring, how I must be doing something illegal or something unrightful, you know, to be able to make so much money by doing what I love. And those type of comments, as I was reading through it, they didn't touch me. They didn't create any internal reaction. However, there was this particularly one type of comment 
that made me literally cry in various shapes of form. And it was about my language, about my accent. People were making fun how I, with my terrible English and terrible accent, how dare am I speaking to and teaching British people or English-speaking people. They were suggesting in the comments how I should at least take a few English lessons to improve my English before I go and work with people. So essentially, this type, type of comments, this type of criticism really pressed something internal and it freaking hurt me. And this, while highly uncomfortable, is actually goal because this is the Whatever that internal trigger, that internal button is pressed, it's pinpointing into your shadow, into a type of beliefs and self-perceptions you have about yourself that you haven't alchemized yet. It's type of illusion that part of you still believes it's true. So yes, that judgment from other people was literally reflecting my own self-judgment. And it's always the case. Negative judgment from other people will always, always reflect your own self-judgment. So in that case, and I realized that, okay, I'm still judging. Part of me is judging myself for how I speak, for how I sound. I'm considering my, myself not good enough because of my accent. And that, I believe, and identity is, of course, from that identity, how can I grow even much greater levels of impact than I was making back then. How can I influence many, many more people and help many, many more people and make millions? Of course I, of course I couldn't do that. So I took it as feedback and I literally worked on that limiting belief that uh, my accent, my language is not good enough. And I grew into self-identity consciously where I became proud of my uniqueness in my language and accent, where I started to believe that it doesn't matter how I sound and I sound unique to me, unique to my upbringing, unique to our, my own personality, environment, etc. that how I sound, that is how I'm going to make extraordinary difference in the world. So I became proud of my language, my accent, my way of speaking through this experience, through just a little bit of internal work, shifting those limiting beliefs, shifting that identity. Guess what? Since then, I never received a single comment about my language. Now, I might, but I haven't seen it. Why? Because when they fully integrate that criticism that hurts, that judgment that hurts, reflecting the self-judgments, when they fully integrate it and turn it into something greater, then there is no need anymore for us to be aware of such experiences. Isn't that great? Or you might notice it, but it's just like a fleeting comment. You notice it, oh, interesting, and move on. No reaction. So that is going to only happen when, A, you're going to stop consider your critics, your online trolls, etc., cetera, naysayers to be, to be separate from you. And you're going to start taking them as your reflection, your mirrors to your consciousness. It's your creation. It's your creation. When you start noticing what triggers those buttons and, and take that opportunity and work on yourself internally to strengthen yourself from within. And it's only then when you integrate this criticism or self-judgment and this self-judgment and this self-judgment, then you're able to turn absolutely everything, even one negative comment such as I had last week, into something valuable, into why not? I mean, this happened. It's universal experience, let's turn it into something valuable for my clients. So that's what I tend to do nowadays. It's not that I'm completely free of negative comments altogether, but when something like that happens, I take that opportunity to serve my clients. And because I bring more value to my clients, 
I'm receiving more sales revenues, clients, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I serve, therefore I deserve. You see how this works? So hopefully I gave you just a little bit of inspiration, a little bit of idea how you too can become super strong in yourself, in your self-identity, in your self-belief with the help of online criticism and online troll and how to even turn them into more incredible clients, more success, more money, more growth for absolutely everyone. So I want to thank you for this. If you took something from this video, I will be most, most grateful if you shared it with me in, a, in comments and remember to like and subscribe. Until next time, so much love your way. Bye-bye.